Howdy, 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 my darling Scorpio. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today, honey, I'm going to be getting into your monthly tarot reading, Scorpio, for July 2022. So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, darling, go on ahead and just hit that like and subscribe button, darling, all right? It's completely free to do, as well as it helps out this tarot reading channel a lot, all right? Let me know in the comments below how this tarot reading resonates, because that's how I keep up with y'all, as of course. And as well, Scorpio, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign when it comes to consuming YouTube general tarot readings for your zodiac sign it's better to cater the energy to your chart rather than just one thing in specific darling all right uh so enough of that scorpio what we're going to be doing for your monthly tarot reading here is we're going to be getting into a row for your career and financial situation all right scorpio and then on your second row we're going to be talking about your social life so this could be platonic this could be romantic this could be something in the work family honey it's your relationships honey right your social life all right and then in the third row darling uh scorpio i want Want to be getting into just some general predictions for you guys all right for the month of july so let's just jump right into this here for you scorpio let's see what's going on for you back of the deck energy for this first and foremost is the uh king of pentacles darling all right now the king of pentacles here you guys are really in the work like i get like this sense of like umpire here or like really like there's something greatness here like like all the uh, songs that come uh, are associated with greatness is what comes to mind here and when i look at your uh, career here scorpio that's what makes the most sense here for you is like where it is that you're building you have the nine as well as the eight of pentacles coming in here with the page of swords here you guys are starting i feel as if for july for you scorpios this is the month for you to start taking some really active steps uh scorpio towards uh taking action in regards to something that you've kept your eye on for a while right you so many of you scorpios have just been in this observing state maybe some of you guys have been very much so studious right maybe you've been learning the craft about how to start like a business or whatever you want to start that business about right for example maybe you want to be a tarot reader darling right starting a tarot channel and so you've been doing a lot of research on doing tarot readings or you've been doing a lot of research on whatever it is but you haven't been about the action quite yet scorpio and so what i want you guys to be doing for the month of july is to start taking that action all right that's how that's what's beginning that begins the work of building up that empire for you to bring forth a lot of financial success all right the nine of pentacles that's this best card to be having for self-employment and creating your own revenue darling it's the card that is just completely talks about the complete success here and going up in the ranks with the eight of pentacles some of you uh, um scorpios might be getting a promotion of some sort or just an increase in uh income revenue stream coming in for you for the month of july all right and then for your social life here uh scorpio we have the page of cups with the fool card as well as the seven of swords keeping in mind once again with the king of pentacles in the back of the deck for you darling all right so for your social life coming in here you guys are getting out of a pretty rough situation i feel uh scorpio but what i see for you in july it's like you guys just recently got over like you either like mentally you have been going through it with some specific relationship in your life whether it's a family romantic honey i don't like the drama details are for you and yourself only darling right but it's like something has been really mentally taxing for you and really has it's like disturbance of the peace here and so what i see for you guys here uh scorpio it's like as you kind of stop fighting it's like you come to terms with certain things and you're no longer interested in fighting like the month of july for you is you're going to be bringing forth a new connection in your life that would be seemingly really solid really mature coming in for you all right the page of cups darling right here represents new people and new opportunities coming in, in your life because it's the social spread darling it's new uh, new people coming into your life here king of pentacles lets you know this is a really mature energy coming in here very stable very successful in their own rights like they have their own hustle coming in here like they don't directly need anything from you right you have nothing but anything nothing to lose but everything to gain from their wisdom here seven of swords coming in here full energy all right so that's where i get this strong sense of where it's like you guys recently just had to get over something shady and now it's like you are just the month of july you are just kind of like either putting it off to the side or you just cut it out right um 
I don't know. I, just overall, like socially, like I feel like you're going to be bringing forth a new solid connection coming in. Or Page of Cups, we can't neglect the part portion of the message that Page of Cups represents Scorpio and talks about the deepening of current relationships. So you might be noticing yourself having a more of a mentorship relationship with someone in your life or someone that was like an acquaintance uh, or someone that you didn't get to know really well, but you really want to know them more. Uh, Scorpio, this month will be the month that y'all will start closing off that distance there. All right. And then for your general predictions, darling, we have here the Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands coming in here. Freedom, freedom, freedom is the first thing, again, that just keeps on coming in the mind to mind for you here. All right, Scorpio, this month you are going to be the most free ever that you ever have been because I feel like there's been so many like relationships, so many things that you've been having to juggle in your life, Scorpio. And I don't know what it is that y'all have done to it. I feel like it's just very different for each and every one of you just because of how it's not really spirits not really being specific right it's like they're purposely hiding the details of like how you handle that these situations right that i keep on talking about here but it's like you have this newfound freedom for july here and again the queen of wands she is the one that is taking action here again towards building like a legacy for herself with that king of pentacles energy being the back of the deck remember darling all right and so what i get here for you guys scorpio is like this is the month where you guys are going to be really finding your own personal flame taking action towards it which is going to be really prosperous for your career it's going to be opening up a lot of doors for you and as you continue on in that queen of wands journey where it's like you're creating that wealth starting to pave out that legacy starting to finally start taking action um scorpio in regards to what it is that you're wanting to manifest what it is that you're wanting to create the dialing right um that's how you start running into somebody else i really get this strong sense because i said it earlier but i get i'm gonna be getting it again here it's like i feel like you guys are gonna be running into someone that could be a potential mentor to you all right whether it's like through someone that like actively helps you out or whether it's just someone that you learn a lot from from their own personal experiences with here with the ace of cups coming in here darling right i mean this is the cup that literally the page of cups is offering darling from your social reading right so this is literally the cup this is new love new opportunity that is here it's being offered and it's here um for you scorpio and so for you guys here you're going to be meeting someone with this newfound freedom it's like the more that you allow your light to shine darling the more that you end up attracting that is a lot more of your vibration darling so overall this seems to be a really solid month for you scorpio darling so i like it a lot i like it a lot let's start clarifying these tarot cards though we're going to start with your career spread remembering that it's the eight and nine of pentacles with that page of swords all right what's happening let's get some more clarification and then we get the swords any we get the swords three and four swords coming in here with the moon card coming in here lots of swords in your monthly reading here scorpio what's up honey what's up so i see for y'all's career what happened for you is like the month of june like something like you hit like you got like a financial hit honey like maybe like an unexpected bill came up or it's just like i get like this sense of urgency i guess when it comes to your bills or it's like this initial feelings of like drowning or being overwhelmed here all right keep your head up at this time scorpio all right i feel as if on some level spirits kind of pushing you trying to make you a little bit more uncomfortable when it comes to your finances so that you start taking action because when you think about it in this way where it's when it's like when you have to pay certain bills right when you have to pay that electric bill darling right eight of wands yeah they're spirits trying to get you to be moving spirits trying to get you to be moving because it's just like and sometimes that movement only comes from moments of feelings of desperation darling right while spirit doesn't want you to be feeling desperate right but it's only through desperate times that you start really pushing um the boundaries of your comfort zone that's when you start actually doing like whatever it takes to be able to pay off that bill and i feel like for you guys that's what's happening if you're noticing when it comes to your career and financial situation things are just getting more uncomfortable here ask yourself a question scorpio of like where it is that you are playing it a little bit too safe where could you be taking more risk where could you be taking action in regards to ways that you could create more uh financial means in your life with something that you already have done research on it's like you guys have done a bunch of research on for example like when it comes to stocks right you've done a bunch of research on stocks but then it's just like at the end of the day like you never invest anything you never take that initial risk when it could pay off greatly so let's now take a look at a closer look at your uh, social life here scorpio remembering that you have the fool seven of swords with that page of cups energy 
what's going what more detail can we get in regards to your social life here again like the words freedom like it's just like some voice just humming or like singing happily freedom like we're over and over and over again all right y'all are getting some type of freedom you're releasing the bonds away very quickly i might add here with that cherry energy y'all are really running the other like running away freeing yourself from the grips of like okay the first word that came to mind is the grips of a narcissist i don't personally like i will say this scorpio all right just because someone is the narcissist doesn't inherently mean they're a bad person right but i feel like you might describe this person as like a narcissist there's a bunch of other bad attributes to them but it's like someone that you feel as if was really controlling of your life all right that's the thing about a tarot reader is like you can't like you can't filter the messages that come in and like i don't like using the word narcissist because it's just like i feel like so many people use that word so often um and it's just a little bit overused but that is the word that came to mind here where it's just like someone that you feel as if like was extremely controlling what like always tried to control the narrative control tried to control your money tried to control where your passions were here you're running the other direction and very fast might i add darling all right and it's the help with some spiritual um assistance here some of you guys might be feeling called scorpio to do a cord cutting this is a direct green light to be doing that there all right some of you guys need to really be making sure to cut off any access you have towards this energy um once you start running the other way darling don't be looking back with this here all right so this is a direct affirmation to my scorpios that have been lacking that sense of freedom through a social situation here right because it's six of swords is even right afterwards like after the second card from the back of the deck here darling right you guys need to y'all need to really walk away from this situation here like it's the sense of where it don't come back to it here all right it's like some of you guys need it perhaps some of y'all needed to hear like the words narcissist i suppose because it's like some of you guys have like that stockholm syndrome when it comes to this relationship in your life you don't realize like how controlling how toxic how potentially abusive this relationship is for you right so now taking a look in regards to just general predictions for you darling all right just to remember that we have the ace of cups two of pentacles with the queen of wands for you here all right as i was saying beforehand you guys are just no longer going to be juggling so much you're going to be having girl <laughs> i guess the three cards came out here you're gonna be yeah okay honey i see these three cards so you have the knight of swords here the tower energy with the strength card coming in here honey all right so y'all are definitely it's like y'all are packing your bags in the middle of the night scorpio and you're just like disappearing off in the middle of the night high priestess energy here powerful 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 all right y'all are doing some big plans to escape something to escape something to run away from something to move on from something here i hear no contact all right i don't know what it is that you guys scorpio are getting out of but i just want to say i'm so happy and i'm proud of you for that here i don't feel as if you've let anyone else in on the plans here due to this high priestess energy right the high priestess is a very she's very elusive um she doesn't really speak about anything she always is just is feeling keep like very much so in the dark right and i feel like for you guys it's like this is not the first time that you've tried to make an escape plan or tried to get out of a situation here all right something that's been taking such a toxic hold of your life here all right i feel for many of you guys it's a social situation some of you guys might be uh addressing the toxic hold that your health has been having on you some of you guys might be taking uh, uh taking care of what the toxic hold of like like it's just something that's had such an insane toxic hold again on you scorpio that you haven't been able to just be yourself right you're you're planning to escape and please just allow that like i know things are if you you are going to be successful in that escape plan scorpio as long as you don't look back as long as you don't look back because i feel like that's like the main problem here for you it's like i don't feel like this is like the first time for some of you scorpios that have like tried to plan an escape route for that toxic situation all right honey so that's what all the tarot cards that i have on that uh scorpio um let's get into some oracle cards here all right darling um hopefully this tarot monthly tarot reading resonated with you though scorpio all right i know it took a weird turn there at the end right <clears throat> last quarter moon in virgo first quarter moon in aries come on quarter and last quarter moon in cancer honey all right take a breather step in your power and attend to the details all right take a breather right now i feel like some of you scorpios with whatever it is that you're planning on making a big change on all right you're you're kind of psyching yourself out a little bit here all right step in your power because that's been a common theme for you with with regardless like not only just your career and financial situation stepping into your power 
power with like creating more abundance into your life, but also stepping in your power and having the confidence to leave that toxic situation. All right. Attend to the details here with a taking a breather. All right. Um, keep just doing the work. All right. I know there's some type of plan that I'm not like Spear has been really secretive with you guys. This uh, monthly tarot reading here, Scorpio. Can I just say like y'all are planning something. All right. And it's like they've been keeping it on the down low, even for me, darling. All right. So all I'm going to be saying is whatever it is that you're currently planning right now that you can't quite talk about. All right. And that's fine. If you can't talk about it, honey, it's your business, honey. All right. What do I I don't need to know it. Right. But um keep doing the plan don't psych yourself out darling all right that's the thing that i keep on hearing but scorpio that's the monthly tarot reading that i have for you darling remember i do weekly zodiac readings every single week so be sure to check out your uh the tarot readings each week for your sun moon rising and venus sign remember scorpio i do we um as well private personal readings on my website linked down below simply velka Dot com. If you want to book a private reading with me, it's also next linked next to my social medias. If you'd like to connect on a more intimate level with me, darling, Scorpio, Instagram and TikTok. It's the same username as here, honey. All right. It's super easy. But I love you so much, Scorpio. And hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future. Bye, darling.